Hi, in today's fast-paced world, we are often caught up with ideas that free flow in our minds. Ideas that are on the verge of creating something, but are too often left unattended and eventually forgotten. But what if we could harness the power of our imagination with the power of free-flowing information that is readily available at our fingertips? And more importantly, what if we could literally use our fingertips to visually arrange our thoughts in style? Well, now we can with Visualize, the on-the-go visual creator from Reillusion. In this example, I want to create a visual template of my next travel plan to India. So I begin by using the texting tool to add my reference text. So let's say India trip. And I can choose the font color and the font style to go with it. At the end, I can simply resize and put my reference text wherever I want to. Then I add an image of what I wish to witness during my, my India trip. So I'll go to my stickers here. I have several pictures I saved and I'll get it right here, double tap, and I'll import it inside, okay? Now I can also add flare and visual effects. To do this, just tap on it once and go to the effects option. Here I can choose different effects options and go with the white edge features to simulate a Polaroid. So I'll click on the white edge, I will increase the border, and there we go. You may easily draw arrows or any other type of items with a freehand drawing tool, which allows you to choose between different brush styles, different brush sizes, and even colors. You can rotate or scale these items and put them anywhere you need them to be. So let me do this again, and I'll use a, a red arrow. Let's see, just draw it, done and resize. For my India trip, I wish to create visual reminders of the places I want to see. Now, I can type in these notes of these places or, better yet, I can easily import a PNG icon directly from the internet. So just tap on that image, save it, and then go back to visualize. Inside visualize, you can go to the galleries, I put it in my stickers, and you'll find your PNG images in there. Then just rearrange them. It's easy to add external elements and details from the internet, thanks to the rectangular cropping tool. So I have a web page here, and I simply need to take a snapshot, then I can go back to visualize, and go to cutouts, my album, camera roll, and click that image I just took, okay? And I can use the cropping tool here, the rectangular cropping tool, to take a snapshot of uh, an address I'd like. So I'd save, and there we go. I can also add in text information from my own notes or from the internet again. This is especially handy if I need long information such as hotel addresses. I can directly copy that bring it back into Visualize and to the text tool, remember? Text, I can paste that inside, change the font, and the opacity, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And there you go. You're able to import as many images as you'd like. And I'm gonna choose another image of Varanasi that I saved. This, of course, is to give a, a better visual roadmap of, of where I wanna go. So I'll tap on that, I'll go to edit here, the color settings, I can increase the brightness, or the saturation or anything I need. And I can also give it an edge effect. And we're done. If you have an iPad too, then you may use the iPad camera on board to take pictures and turn them into PNG images. So previously, I took a picture of a sarong that my wife wants me to purchase from India. And then I can use the intuitive lasso tool, which allows you to crop objects with natural shapes. There we go. Then I can zoom in and I can use the erase tool to get rid of any unwanted segments. Once again, if you want to restore some parts, just use the brush tool to get that mask back in. And there we go. Here, I can add text of something that I need to purchase during my trip. So I'll, this time I'll draw it. Must buy. Now I wanna put this here, but I want to also add a sticker. So I can go to gallery and here you'll, you'll notice that there's a lot of pre-made items you can choose from. 
shapes, arrows, notes, frames, anything. So I just want a simple sticker. I've got a stationary here. Now I like this sticker, but I don't like the color. So I just tap on it again, and I'll just change the color to what I need it to be. Now I want to put the sticker behind the must buy sign. So it's very easy. I just select the sticker, and I'll tap on the layer manager here. Then I tap and hold that sticker and I move it downwards under the must buy sign. And there we go. At the end, you may add in a background map to serve as a visual reference for the trip. So just go to background, selection, go to my albums here. And I previously saved an Indian map. Take note that sometimes too many images may clutter your project. To correct this, you may add background effects. So I'll drop the brightness here, add dark corners, okay? And what happens is that this draws more attention to your foreground items. It's so easy to create fantastic looking concepts and stylish designs with just a little imagination. But what would a Reillusion app be without some business applications? Besides using Visualize as a portable image maker, why not use it to create on-the-go meeting minutes? Many times we attend business meetings where all our ideas and concepts are drawn on a whiteboard and are often forgotten there. But now you can use Visualize in your iPad camera to snap a photo of your raw layout to later create stylish meeting reviews. And now I'll make my starting point by choosing an item from the gallery. Great. And I'll just put in my image and I'll add some text. I'm just going to choose some of these arrows here. Now we add additional elements that represent categories in our product launch. Again, we simply select items from the content library, add text, and you can change the color if you wish. Once we have our main categories in place, then we start by collecting event icons which we wish to attend for the PR campaign. So I can just select these icons and put them inside. Sometimes the icons you choose are just too small to move around with your fingers. So what you can do is click on one, then click on the rotate tool inside and manually rotate it with the slider controls. As you can see, for the second features category, I already added a picture of my product and I already added the specs of the same product. Now, we don't need that background image anymore. So I will just simply scrap it. Now we have a cleaner surface to work on. For the website snapshot, I wish to highlight certain segments. So I'll just go to the draw, choose a color, and draw my rectangle. Then it's inside, I'll rotate it, I'll scale it. And then I can click on it, go to the color settings, and I can drop the opacity. This is done because I do not want my image to take all the attention off the other items. So there we go. Once your project is ready, then simply just go to export and you will be able to use several options inside. You can save into your camera roll, you can set it as an email, upload to Facebook, Picasa, or Dropbox. You can do all of this from the comfort of your own Visualize. There are many iPad apps out there but none with the image compositing power and ease of use that Visualize delivers. No matter if you're a student, a designer, or an engineer, now you have the power to directly manipulate your ideas and share them with anyone. If you have an iPad, give it a try. Go to the iTunes Store and download the trial version of Visualize.